This video is going over the bottle mirroring kit uh, that is available on the website. What comes in the kit are these three chemicals. It's uh, silver solution, 30 milliliters. The reducer, 30 milliliters. And the tin for silver, which is also 30 milliliters. Other things that you will need, um, I like to put some water, distilled, this is distilled water, into a uh, bottle for measuring out small amounts of water into uh, uh, beakers uh, for making small amounts for doing a single bottle. Um, a small one mil bottle which is going to be available on our site. Uh, some simple uh, uh, jars for uh, shot glasses for uh, with uh, milliliters, ounces, and everything on it for uh, measuring out the chemicals. And for the tin, you're going to need at least a 500 milliliter uh, container because one milliliter of uh, tin solution equals five milliliters of water. We'll go over that shortly. The last thing you're going to need is one or more bottles of uh, whiskey, wine, uh, whatever the case, whatever you're going to want to mirror, you're going to need one of these bottles at least. Uh, I like to clean them with soapy water and then uh, rinse them out really good with tap water and then if you notice inside the bottle is liquid that's hot water. The reason I like doing the hot water is because uh, the, the warmer the glass the faster the reaction so I like to get a pretty quick reaction it bonds a lot quicker bonds a lot better and allows you to get a really good solid uh, silvering very quickly alright when mixing the chemicals we're going to start with the uh, tin uh, for silver and basically all you're going to do is you're going to take a uh, 10 milliliter uh, beaker and put one milliliter of tin, tin for silver into a container, into a measuring cup, and then take distilled water, any brand doesn't make any difference, and fill that up to the 500 milliliter mark. I know it sounds crazy, one milliliter equals 500 milliliters, but uh, that's the solution in the way that it was designed. The reason is a lot of times you're going to use a lot more tin. I use tin for silver for both the uh, first stage, which is sensitizing the glass, and I also use it as a last stage for tinning the silver so that it's got an extra protection. Now that we have this uh, put together, we're going to set it off to the side and go over the other two solutions. Okay, now I've got uh, both the uh, additional chemicals, the two, um, the silvering chemical, which is a silvering solution, one milliliter of this to 29 milliliters of water. Same thing with this, the reducer, one milliliter of this to 29 milliliters of water. It gives you 30 milliliters of both, half of which, half of each, is what you need to mirror a bottle. However, for this demonstration, I'm pouring the whole thing in because there's no need to waste it. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, in a second. I'm going to clean out the bottle, and we'll start. Alright, now we're going to go on to tinning the bottle. Right now, I've got the bottle empty. As you can see, there's nothing in it. I have it, uh, it's clean. And, uh... The only two things I need at this point right now is the bottle, warm, which it is, the tinning solution, and some kind of, kind of timing device. So uh, in this case I got my pocket watch and uh, it'll flash up on the screen but the uh, tinning time is 30 seconds and then we rinse it. So this has been, the tap water has been poured out, I've poured distilled water in it put the cap on it, shook it up really good, and uh, now I'm ready to uh, go ahead and tin it.
Okay, so I'm going to take, and it doesn't matter how much of this you pour in, uh, keep in mind you got 500 milliliters of it, uh, but the idea is just basically to uh, get the tin into the bottle. And now it's basically just uh, uh, shaking the bottle, making sure that you get the tin through the whole thing for 30 seconds. It can be anywhere between 15 and 30 seconds. It really doesn't need to be a full 30 seconds. Um, we're going to do it for 20 seconds, and then I'll stop, and then uh, we'll uh, go from there. All right, now we have the tin. I feel like it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off, and I'm going to pour the contents out into a bucket. the bottle is uh, rinsed out or uh, poured out I'm going to take distilled water again and I'm going to put the cap back on it and I'm going to shake it get the tin uh, to release from the sides it's already the glass is already sensitized so basically now I just pour this out and then we're going to go on to silvering it I have both A and B sitting here. I have a clean, dry bottle to pour the two in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, the, the um, silver in first, the reducer in second, swirl it around for a second, put it in the bottle, put the cap on, and start shaking. And the bottle should silver pretty quickly. So I pour the silver solution in, followed by the reducer. I want to swirl it around to get it started. Pour it into the bottle. And as you can see, it's already starting to silver. So now we just basically just shake it up, get it to go everywhere. It's already a silver bottle. The more you shake it at this point, the more silver it becomes. You can see it's silver there, silver on the back, all the way around. And that's it. That's the silvered bottle right there. Now you pour the chemicals out and uh, rinse it, and you have a silvered mirror, mirrored bottle. Now as you can see, I have a silvered bottle. Uh, the uh, bottle's been rinsed out with distilled water. I put distilled water in it, put the cap on it, shook it up. No need to show that on video. Uh, so the last step for me is once again the tin. I want to pour a little bit of it in the bottle. I'm going to re-put the cap on it. And I want to shake it. And what this is doing is um, it's considered a first step but it's also considered a final step with the way that I have these chemicals made. Uh, most silvering products would destroy the, the solution but the reason I do this is because uh, the bottle will now be retinned and it's leaving a metal surface that's different than uh, the silver on the surface so it's actually got a protective coat uh, in many cases, when you get a cap like with this bottle, uh, it's a good enough protective coat that the oxidation will never happen because you're sealing the bottle up. A uh, little distilled water at the end, and uh, shake it up with the distilled water to get the uh, the balance of the uh, product out. And there you go.